Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will teach you where and how to farm all ancient equipment materials in Dragon Nest C. Now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, I've listed all ancient equipment materials and sorted them based on the type of ancient equipment they are used for. These categories include armor, weapon, accessory, and miscellaneous. So, we will start by discussing ancient armor fragments, followed by ancient weapon fragments, then ancient accessory fragments, and lastly, we'll cover the miscellaneous category, which includes ancient knowledge, insignia, and ancient energy. Okay, let's start discussing ancient armor fragments. Ancient armor fragments are crucial materials for crafting or enhancing ancient armor. There are five types of ancient armor fragments corresponding to the ancient armor parts used for crafting or enhancement. These include Life Ancient Helmet, Eastern Ancient Upper Body, Dawn Ancient Lower Body, Jungle Ancient Gloves, and Abyss Ancient Shoes Fragments. So, how can I farm ancient armor fragments? There are three ways to farm or obtain ancient armor fragments, and these are Lucky Zone, Fish and Maze, and Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch. In Lucky Zone, ancient armor fragments are dropped upon killing the dungeon boss and opening the special chest reward upon completing a Lucky Zone stage. Please take note that when doing Lucky Zone stage, each ancient armor fragment drops on a specific region in the game. Life Ancient Helmet fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of a new Arendelle and a new Carcilla. Eastern Ancient Upper Body fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Radoms and Streets of Red Lotus Palace. Dawn Ancient Lower Body Fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Merka's Heart and Merka's Port. Jungle Ancient Gloves Fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Riverwort Wharf. Abyss Ancient Shoes Fragments drops on all of the dungeon stages of Hermolt Port and Foothills of the Black Mountain. Okay, you might ask that, but the dungeon listed as Lucky Zone doesn't drop the specific Ancient Armor Fragment that I need. Can we farm Ancient Armor Fragments even if the dungeon is not featured as Lucky Zone? Yes, you can. However, if you choose to farm in a dungeon that is not listed as a lucky zone, your only source of ancient armor fragments will be from killing the dungeon stage boss. In this case, no special chest reward will appear, and you won't be maximizing the use of your limited fatigue points. It's important to note that the special chest reward may also drop additional ancient armor fragments, in addition to those obtained from defeating the boss. This is why the dungeons featured as lucky zones determine the specific ancient armor parts you will farm. So, how many ancient armor fragments are dropped when doing a lucky zone stage? These are the drop rate for normal amount and jackpot amount of ancient armor fragments when doing lucky zone stage for each labyrinth difficulty, starting at labyrinth 11. Please note that, both dungeon boss and special chest reward ancient armor fragments drop rate and amount are the same. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. If you're looking for an in-depth guide on lucky zone farming, you can check out my other video guides. I'll leave the link in the video description and pinned comments below the video. Now, moving on. In Fish and Maze, ancient armor fragments are randomly dropped from a pool of other possible items starting from Labyrinth 14 and above difficulty after clearing a maze gate. And if an armor fragment is dropped, the type of armor fragment is also random. The final source for ancient armor fragments comes from the contents of the ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch. This pouch contains 25 pieces of all types of ancient armor fragments, 85 pieces of otherworldly ancient weapon fragments, and 67 pieces of unknown ancient accessory fragments. However, you can only choose one of these materials to receive. So, how can we get Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch? Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is specifically dropped from the Special Chest Reward at Labyrinth 18 and above difficulty after completing a Lucky Zone stage. Please take note that the drop rate of Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Special Chest Reward is fixed at 0.1%. Another way to obtain the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is by purchasing it in the Trading House using gold. At the time this video was recorded, this is the price of the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Trading House. Okay, now that we're done discussing Ancient Armor Fragments, let's shift our focus to the two types of Ancient Weapon Fragments, Faded and Otherworldly Ancient Weapon Fragments. Both of these ancient weapon fragments are used for crafting and enhancing ancient weapons, but their difference is that faded ancient weapon fragments are used for crafting and enhancing tier 1 ancient weapons, while otherworldly weapon fragments on the other hand, are used exclusively for enhancing tier 2 ancient weapons. So, how can I farm faded and otherworldly ancient weapon fragments? There are three ways to farm or obtain faded and otherworldly ancient weapon fragments, and these are through Dungeon Invaders, Fish and Maze, and from Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch. 
all dungeon invaders, and including dimensional rift dungeon invaders start to drop faded ancient weapon fragments at Labyrinth 11 and above, while otherworldly ancient weapon fragments only start to drop at Labyrinth 15 and above. The amount of faded and otherworldly weapon fragments increases with higher Labyrinth difficulty. Here's the drop table amount for each Labyrinth difficulty. Please take note that dungeon invaders have a low chance of appearance, so don't be confused if you don't encounter them while doing a dungeon stage. Now, moving on. In Fission Maze, faded ancient weapon fragments are a guaranteed drop, while otherworldly ancient weapon fragments are randomly dropped from a pool of other possible items starting from Labyrinth 14 and above difficulty after clearing a maze gate. The drop amount of faded ancient weapon fragments in Fission Maze depends on the Labyrinth difficulty, while otherworldly ancient weapon fragments drop only one, and it's not guaranteed. The final source is only for otherworldly ancient weapon fragments and it comes from the contents of the ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch. This pouch contains 25 pieces of all types of ancient armor fragments, 85 pieces of otherworldly ancient weapon fragments, and 67 pieces of unknown ancient accessory fragments. However, you can only choose one of these materials to receive. So, how can we get ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch? Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is specifically dropped from the Special Chest Reward at Labyrinth 18 and above difficulty after completing a Lucky Zone stage. Please take note that the drop rate of Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Special Chest Reward is fixed at 0.1%. Another way to obtain the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is by purchasing it in the Trading House using gold. At the time this video was recorded, this is the price of the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Trading House. Okay, now that we're done discussing ancient weapon fragments, let's now focus on unknown ancient accessory fragments. Unknown ancient accessory fragments are essential materials for crafting or enhancing ancient accessories. So, how can I farm unknown ancient accessory fragments? There are three ways to farm or obtain unknown ancient accessory fragments, and these are through nest stages, fish and maze, and from ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch. In nest stages, unknown ancient accessory fragments are dropped in all of the following nest stages, and the amount of fragments increases with higher labyrinth difficulty. Here is the drop rate amount table for unknown ancient accessory fragments in nest stages for every labyrinth difficulty. Now, moving on. In Fission Maze, three pieces of unknown ancient accessory fragments are randomly dropped from a pool of other possible items starting from labyrinth 14 and above difficulty after clearing a maze gate. The final source for unknown ancient accessory fragments comes from the contents of the ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch. This pouch contains 25 pieces of all types of ancient armor fragments, 85 pieces of otherworldly ancient weapon fragments, and 67 pieces of unknown ancient accessory fragments. However, you can only choose one of these materials to receive. So, how can we get ancient equipment fragment treasure pouch? Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is specifically dropped from the Special Chest Reward at Labyrinth 18 and above difficulty after completing a Lucky Zone stage. Please take note that the drop rate of Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Special Chest Reward is fixed at 0.1%. Another way to obtain the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch is by purchasing it in the Trading House using gold. At the time this video was recorded, this is the price of the Ancient Equipment Fragment Treasure Pouch in the Trading House. Okay, now that we're done discussing unknown ancient accessory fragments, let's shift our focus to miscellaneous ancient equipment materials, which includes ancient knowledge, ancient insignia, and ancient energy. Ancient knowledge and ancient insignia are also used for crafting ancient equipment, but these materials are mainly used for enhancing ancient armors, ancient weapons, and ancient accessories. Meanwhile, ancient energy is used to craft ancient memory, and ancient memory is used to evolve a plus 20 tier 1 ancient armor to tier 2 ancient armor. For ancient knowledge, there are 5 ways to farm or obtain it, and these are, daily task, lucky zone, nest stages, fish and maze, and ancient knowledge treasure pouch. I've already discussed about lucky zone when I discussed about ancient armor fragments so here's the drop amount of ancient knowledge upon killing the dungeon stage boss and opening the special chest reward. Next, besides unknown ancient accessory fragments, ancient knowledge is also dropped upon clearing these nest stages. Here's the drop table amount of ancient knowledge for each labyrinth difficulty. Now, moving on. In Fission Maze, five pieces of ancient knowledge are randomly dropped from a pool of other possible items starting from labyrinth 14 and above difficulty after clearing a maze gate. The final source for ancient knowledge comes from the contents of the ancient knowledge treasure pouch. This pouch contains 90 pieces of ancient knowledge. So, how can we get ancient knowledge treasure pouch? 
ancient knowledge treasure pouch is specifically dropped from the special chest reward at Labyrinth 18 and above difficulty after completing a lucky zone stage. Please take note that the drop rate of ancient knowledge treasure pouch in the special chest reward is fixed at 0.1%. Another way to obtain the ancient knowledge treasure pouch is by purchasing it in the trading house using gold. At the time this video was recorded, this is the price of the ancient knowledge treasure pouch in the trading house. For ancient insignia, there are five ways to farm or obtain it, and these are daily task, lucky zone, nest stages, fish and maze, and ancient insignia treasure pouch. Just like ancient armor fragments and ancient knowledge, ancient insignia is also dropped in the lucky zone dungeon stage. Here's the drop amount of ancient insignia upon killing the dungeon stage boss and opening the special chest reward. In addition to that, Alongside the unknown ancient accessory fragment and ancient knowledge, ancient insignia is also dropped upon clearing these nest stages. Here's the drop table amount of ancient insignia for each labyrinth difficulty. Now, moving on. In Fish and Maze, 20 pieces of ancient insignia are randomly dropped from a pool of other possible items starting from labyrinth 14 up to 19. From labyrinth 20 and above difficulty, ancient insignia is a guaranteed drop after clearing a maze gate, and the amount increases the higher the fish and maze labyrinth is. The final source for ancient insignia comes from the contents of the ancient insignia treasure pouch. This pouch contains 667 pieces of ancient insignia. So, how can we get ancient insignia treasure pouch? Ancient insignia treasure pouch is specifically dropped from the special chest reward at labyrinth 18 and above difficulty after completing a lucky zone stage. Please take note that the drop rate of Ancient Insignia Treasure Pouch in the Special Chest Reward is fixed at 0.1%. Another way to obtain the Ancient Insignia Treasure Pouch is by purchasing it in the trading house using gold. At the time this video was recorded, this is the price of the Ancient Insignia Treasure Pouch in the trading house. For Ancient Energy, there are two ways to farm or obtain it, and these are from doing dungeons in Arc Crash Site at Labyrinth 18 or above difficulty, and by buying it in the trading house. Ancient Energy is used for crafting Ancient Memory, which is used for evolving a plus 20 tier 1 Ancient Armor to tier 2. You can obtain Ancient Energy upon killing the stage boss of these two dungeons in Arc Crash Site, with a low fixed drop chance rate of 0.05% at Labyrinth 18 or above difficulty. Ancient Energy is tradable which means you can buy it in the trading house using gold. And there you have it. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.